Flora means flower in Latin. Flora was the Roman goddess of spring and flowering plants, especially wildflowers and plants not raised for food. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, in modern times the term flora often denotes a descriptive catalog of the plants of any geographical area, geological period, etc., or the plants or plant life of any particular region or epoch. So, how the term got the meanings it has today? The term flora had different metonymical meanings in the 16th and 17th century, that were in use simultaneously. Flora could represent the cultivated flowers of the garden and the plant life of a certain geographical area. Moreover, it could probably as a secondary meaning, refer to a catalogue containing either the plants of a garden or the natural vegetation of an area, and at times also a mixture of both. While it is largely assumed that flora as a metonymy is first used in a book title, namely a Giovanni Battista Ferrari's work on horticulture, was first published in Rome in 1633. Battista's work inspired similar works such as John Ray's that was published for the first time in London in 1665. These works have a slightly different content when compared to a flora in the modern sense, because they do not deal with the natural vegetation but with artful horticulture and the cultivation of ornamental plants. Simon Pauli in his Flora Danica from 1648 is the first work to use flora in the modern sense. This work contains descriptions of medicinal plants growing in Denmark. Flora gradually replaced more traditional titles such as Historia Plantarum or Historia Sterpium. In this way, the metonymy and the connection to the Roman goddess fade. Where the meanings natural vegetation of an area and catalogue of plants have become much more common.